What you're about to witness might upset you. I respect all training efforts, but truth and realism are the goals here. No offense. Um, so, in, in, in our world, you know, training from negative is a big deal. Um, Krav Maga has kind of made that its bread and butter. And, and I don't think that there's anything wrong with training from negative. I think you should do it, but I don't think it should encompass the bulk of your training. In, in most Krav Maga circles, it's, it's 90 plus percent. Your worst case scenario, you're on your back, back mounted with a gun to the back of your head. And, and my contention is, Basically, if you suck that bad that you ended up in that position, there's no way you're gonna be good enough to escape that position. So our emphasis is on not ending up in those really bad places. Um, if you always train from extreme negative positions, then the odds are that's where you're gonna find yourself. Um, I, I've been involved in instructor courses and things where the instructor is like, no, 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 no let them get you all the way to here or you know you, you you have to be in this position or whatever and i'm thinking intuitively this person is already defending and now you're forcing them into a worse position going against what their intuition is you're going to make them worse you're going to make them less capable of dealing with violent situations because you're training them to wait until things are as bad as they could possibly get so our emphasis is on being first, if possible, controlling variables when you can, um, but but responding as quickly as possible and trying to avoid those absolute worst case scenarios. If we end up there, then we deal with it. But we we spend most of our time on trying to to be there. You recently shed um, Krav Maga from the fit to fight name. What? Well, why? Um, there was a there were a few reasons. Uh, the biggest reason was I, I think um, while I think. Conceptually, we are more Krav Maga than other systems, uh, other organizations, because we actually do what they say they do. We evolve, we look at things, we, we remove bad stuff, we, we bring in influences from other places. They don't actually do that. It's a tagline for them. It's a cool logo, it's a cool story to tell. Um, and then, too, there's just so many bad instructors out there using the name Krav Maga that I didn't really want to be associated with him. So you're more Krav Maga than Krav Maga, but you don't want to use the name Krav Maga because it's too Krav Maga. That. Got it. Who else can read this off? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man.